All right, welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. I'm Lithium Shadow, and in this episode, we are going to try and take down Brock. I trained up our Pokemon a little bit. We got a little bit of help from Brock's dad, and I think, personally, that we are ready to do this. So let's go ahead. Wish me luck. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Your Pikachu is no match for me. You may think you're ready to challenge me, but I can tell you're still a novice. As gym leader, though, I must accept all challenges. So let's get this over with. Let the match begin. I didn't level up my Pokemon a whole lot. Just a couple of levels to get Quick Attack for Pikachu. Um, other than that, that's about it. So here's hoping, guys. Okay, so we're going to roll out with a Thunder Wave. I know what you're thinking, but Paralysis. Now that we got him paralyzed... Maybe save us a little bit of HP. Use some normal type moves on him. See, it's not really effective at all. But it's okay. It's effective enough. Boom. What does Tail Whip do again? I think it lowers defense. Yes, it does. Okay, so... Are you kidding me? He's going to defense curl into infinite defense. That's what he's going to do. I already know this. Thank God it's paralyzed. Okay, so that should have put it at least back to normal. Let's use a quick attack on him. Ooh! That did a lot of damage. Does 10 points of damage. Ah, oh, curse you. Okay, let's use another quick attack. It's doing less and less damage. Okay, let's keep going. Quick attack. Good, paralyzed. We just gotta keep whittling him away. Oh, he's so close, boys and girls. No, how dare you! You're not allowed to do that. Fight, quick attack. Ah, oh, that is painstakingly slow. Okay, it's okay. We got this. He won't be able to kill us, is the good news. This is gonna take like five more moves just to take him out, I swear. Oh, come on, boys. Okay, we're, we're taking another... Ooh. Did 11 points of damage. Okay. Geodude is out for the count. Huh? Pikachu's electricity is sent off the sprinklers. No matter. Let's finish this match. We've not finished the game. Not yet. Leave Onyx alone. Our brother worked hard to raise it, you big bully. Stop it, all of you. This is an official match, and we're going to finish it no matter what. Let the match commence. <laughs> I love, I like the, I like doing the fake voices. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to try and get out a paralysis on Onyx. Ooh, level 14 of death. It is raining, and that increases the power of electricity moves, I believe. Ow! How are you? Oh my god. That was flipping mother trucking pancake eating close, guys. Bag, potion, use, Pikachu. And let's hope he doesn't roll out with a move. Oh, thank God for that one. The rain continues to fall. Now, I thought that would hurt him, but I think our electric moves are increased in power thanks to this rain. Yes, okay, they're, they're good. They're doing good. They're doing good. Please don't do a lot. Oh, okay. Thank goodness for that. Okay, we can we can manage another attack. I'm just praying he won't hit us because after this one, I want to heal up again. Okay, he's going down. Okay, I might be stupid, but I'm going for another one. This is probably a really bad idea. Oh, boy. Oh, please don't do 15. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we're going to use a potion. Get back up to 27. Hopefully he'll stay paralyzed. We'll be able to get a couple more attacks out on him. I am sweating so much. Not just because it's hot in here. I am... S oh, thank goodness. Okay, he's paralyzed. We got away with that one for free. Fight! Thundershock! Let's do it! Pikachu, you can do this! Oh! It's so close! I don't know if I should risk it. I kind of want to go quick attack, but let's do Thundershock. 
I didn't want to risk him using like a thunder or not thunder potion, a uh, uh, super potion. And there we go. We we done it, guys. I know it's just the first gym, but the first gym is always the hardest when you start out with Pikachu. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Boulder Badge? It's a badge. Hey guys, let's go get some badges. Okay, we got the Boulder Badge from Brock! Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. Ash got 1,400 pounds. Um, it's not pounds. I'm thinking about British money. Wait. Take this with you. TM39. Whatever that was. A technical machine. We know what technical machines are. I'm sure you guys do too. So I'm just gonna... You beat me in battle and being kind to all Pokemon. To tell, the, to tell you the truth, I get more pl pleasure from raising Pokemon than from making them battle. I don't care about a great Pokemon trainer. I don't care about being a great Pokemon trainer. I want to become the world's best breeder. But I can't leave here because I have to look after my brothers and sisters. Ash, I want you to take the boulder badge and fulfill my dream. So is Brock going to come with us? Brock! You go follow your own dreams. My father. I couldn't become the great Pokemon trainer I wanted to. And because I was such a failure, I was too ashamed to go back to my family. That, seriously, dude? You're going to have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kids, and just not go back? Then it's time I started my journey to become the world's greatest breeder. Thank you for everything, Ash. Okay, so I guess Ash uh, or Brock isn't coming with us. Okay, is there any? I've decided to watch over my children from now on. And let Brock pursue his dream. So I guess Brock isn't coming with us. I actually thought Brock was going to come with us. That's kind of unfortunate. I was really excited to have a companion with us. But nonetheless, we know what our next goal is. We're heading to Cerulean City. Okay, so we just finished healing up our Pokemon. Now we just need to be on our way. Let's just run. All right, here we go. We are now on our way to Cerulean City. There's no trainer up there. I don't know what the order of this is. It's been a long time since I played it, but let's go ahead and just jump into it. We, we need the experience anyways. You know what I'm talking about? We actually snuck past him. And we're sneaking past him too. Thank you for moving, girl. Alright, guys. I think we made it to Cerulean. So, I was playing Pokemon Yellow on my Game Boy Advance. Um, I think it was a couple of days ago. What does this sign say? Mount Moon. Oh, I forgot about Mount Moon. That's how you get to Cerulean City. You don't just do that. You gotta go through Mount Moon. Ah! A wild Zubat attacked! Help me! <laughs> I will help you, kind sir. But I was playing Pokemon uh, Yellow on my uh, 3DS the other day because I'm getting ready for Pokemon Sun and Moon, of course. And um, I just made it to this part, actually, so I'm pretty excited about it. Wow, that was like, a very quick fight. Thank you so much. You saved my life. My name is Seymour the Scientist. Somebody has strung lights up in Mountain Moon, causing the nocturnal Pokemon to fly out. They're after the Moonstone. I'm sure of it. The Moonstone was brought here from another planet by Clefairy. That's right, Clefairy, you're aliens. Please, go help them. Okay, so, yeah, well, uh, I guess we just have to go inside Mount Moon. It's been a while since I've been in here, uh, but let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And then we can s go inside Mount Moon. Boom. There we go. It's good enough. I don't want to waste another one. Let's head inside. 
Okay, so we made it back here. Um, this is the only other way I can think of to go, so we're going down this path now. Run away, because I don't want to deal with these stupid Pokemon encounters anymore. They're getting on my nerves, because they happen literally every three seconds. I don't know who in the world thought it would be a good idea to fill a cave with this many freaking Pokemon. It's like, hey, how do we piss off everyone that's playing the Pokemon game? Hey, let's fill a tunnel. Let's build a tunnel that everyone has to go into in every five steps. They run into another Pokemon that they don't want to look at. Oh, okay. Finally, prepare for trouble. Twerp. <laughs> we want the Moonstone to power our Pokemon. Ready or not. Okay, so this time, let's not let uh, Jesse and James beat us. Because, yeah, um, I don't want that to happen. And it cuts their attack down. Thunder wave to try and paralyze this mother trucking snaky thing. No, it didn't par- Ah, oh, it did! I spoke too soon. Wait, I have a thing for that. Haha. -ha. Bag. And it out. Haha. -ha. Suck that team rocket. Okay. I don't remember if it's uh, weak against electric, so let's just try electric. Yes, it is. Stop using poison thing at me. The no shock. It's okay, guys. We got this. We got this. You don't need to worry. Coughing. Uh, yeah. Let's change out. Pikachu is slightly hurt. We're gonna switch out for Pidgeotto. Okay, so Pidgeotto, use Gust. It's, it's reasonably uh, damaging. Good, it missed its attack. I wonder if we should try Tackle. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh, it's about the same. Ooh, uh-oh. That's a, just a straight-up Poison-type move, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Snap, okay. Snap, crackle, and pop. Let's go ahead and just take out coughing and just deal with the extra points of damage that it's going to give us. Uh, because otherwise it's going to do that again and we would have been poisoned. Again. So, I know we're going to have to take a little bit extra damage, but it'll be okay. Because now, coughing is down for the count. When we get out of here, we can just... Really? Are you kidding me? Come on, Gus, one more time then. I can't believe it held on there. But nonetheless. And a level 13 Pidgeotto. Boom. And we got quick attack on our Pidgeotto. Nice. It's time for Team Rocket Blast. It's time for Team Rocket Blast it off. You may have won this round, but we'll be back. Well, I certainly hope not. <laughs> Okay, so now that we took care of Team Rocket, let's go ahead and use an Antidote on our Pidgey Pidgeotto. And then we're going to need to throw a couple potions uh, their way as well. And then potion. We got two, four potions. One for Pidgeotto, one for Pikachu, and we will be on the fast track to uh, lots of health in the Pokemon world. Use it on Pikachu. Boom, and there we go. Okay, so both of our Pokemon are now perfectly fine. They're nice and healthy. There ain't... I ain't never seen this part of Mount Moon before. There is still Pokemon here, okay. <laughs> Lucky us. Okay, so I finally escaped from some Pokemon battles and... Now, I don't know which way to go, so let's... I assume this way, since there's dirt up here. Okay, we almost got in a fight with that dude. That would have been really unfortunate, uh, in my opinion. No! I'm looking for fossils, but I haven't found a single one. Well, too bad for you, because I don't know why. I guess you're taking your anti-fossil finding this out on me.
Oh, there's no running from a trainer battle. Dang it, I forgot about that. Okay, um, quick attack is all we really got for this. Oh, good. It does a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, 16. Now I'm going to do that again. It was really effective the first time. So, of course, I want to do it again. Okay, thankfully we beat him, so... Hopefully we can just keep on moving towards the goal. Which is getting out of this freaking cave, by the way. In case you didn't know, it was getting out of this cave. <laughs> I don't care about levels or Pokemon. I can do that off camera. Begin through this flipping pancake loving cave is the most important thing in the world to me. Ba -da -ba -da -bum. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -da bum, bum, bum. But no, um, at the time of this um, video going live, uh, Junichi Masuda tweeted out that there is some more Pokemon Sun and Moon news coming out on May 10th, and it is the 6th of May right now. So I am beyond excited for more Pokemon Sun and Moon news. You, you guys have no idea how like much I am looking forward to more Pokemon Sun and Moon news. I hope it'll be where the region is so I can start planning out my attire for when I stream uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Oh, hey. Do you want to take the Moonstone? Yeah, sure, I'll take the Moonstone. Oh, hey, there's a bunch of Clefairy over here. Hey, Clefairy. Ooh! All right, twerp. We're here for that Moonstone. Hand it over. The Clefairy are using Metronome to cause a huge explosion. Looks like Team Rock is blasting off again! <laughs> you found the Moonstone! The Clefairy must pray to it. Thank you for saving the Clefairy from Team Rocket. I've decided to live here with the Clefairy. It's been my life... It's been my life's dream to find the Moonstone. And someday I'll travel to the stars with the Clefairy. Oh my god, I remember this dude from the show! He's the nutter that wanted to live there with the Clefairy! Yeah, I remember him now. It's like Mystery at Mount Moon, I think is the name of the episode. And this professor, like, um, shows up there and he ends up living with the Clefairy. It's so weird, but yeah, he lives, he lives with the Clefairy. I forgot about that. Totally forgot about that dude. More running. Let's just... No! <laughs> okay. Well, we're almost out of Mount Moon. We're running away from the battle. I don't care if it's like... Unless it was like an Abra or something. I'm not dealing with that. Oh my god. We are finally out of Mount Moon, everyone. So I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like rating. Drop some comments down below. Share this video out with your friends. It really helps the channel grow. And just, just by showing your support. And yeah, like I said, drop some comments down below. I love talking to you guys. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. The links for both of those are down in the description. If you guys want some Pokemon code cards, you like my videos, just go ahead. Just send me a message on Twitter or something.